Oh, hi. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to wear because guess what? It's digital day. Hey guys, it's your girl Mary Amadiello and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about digitals. I don't know why I said that with so much excitement because most models actually dread digital day. <laughs> But guess what? You don't need to because I'm here to show you everything you need to know to kill Digital Day. Have you been submitting to agencies and not hearing back? Have you tried everything? You don't know what works? Why do I sound like an infomercial? <laughs> I decided to make this video because when I was starting out, I didn't know what digitals were. I didn't know what I should wear. I didn't know if I should do my hair up or down or like makeup. Do I need concealer? Do I need a full face? Like. What's the details? What do I need to do so I can get signed? Now after a few years, I've taken a lot of digitals in my day. So I'm here to give you all the tips and everything you need to know so you can submit to agencies and make sure to hear something back. The first thing we need to do is talk about what digitals are. Digitals are natural images that show what you currently look like. They're used to submit to agencies and eventually to clients. They should be clean, unedited, and you should wear little to no makeup. There are 10 standard digital shots that you want to make sure you have. Full body front, full body side, full body back, three fourths from the front, hair up, three fourths from the front, hair back. Side profile to the left, side profile to the right. Headshot non-smiling, headshot smiling, headshot hair up. Stand. Although this is the industry standard, Make sure to double check what your agency wants because sometimes they all have different requirements. For example, some of them might want to see more personality, some might ask for a walking video, and sometimes they even ask for bikini pictures. I know what you're probably thinking. Hey girl, that's a lot. Why can't I just send them a picture from my Instagram? Do you want me to do all that? But remember, digital showcase what you actually look like. Think of yourself as a canvas. Agencies already know what they want to do with you. They have a plethora amount of photographers, hairstylists, and even makeup artists. They just want to see your natural beauty, okay? They want to see what you actually look like and your essence and everything that you are. Now, speaking of beauty, let's talk about hair and makeup. When taking digitals, it's important to not have any makeup on. So, let's take this off. We don't need this. You're beautiful. You don't really need to have all this makeup on. I don't really need to have all this makeup on. So I'm just gonna take it off because when you're taking digitals, they wanna see your skin. And I'm showing you guys my skin right now, right underneath it. There's no point. See? Much better. Now if you must wear makeup, just make sure to keep it minimal. Some mascara will work, or just use a little bit of BB cream or some concealer. Put those lashes down. That highlighted too. Come on, you're stunning. You don't need that. Now for your hair, just keep it simple. There's no need to style it or do anything crazy for it. They usually want to see it in its natural state. But if you wear extensions or wigs like I do, I would recommend taking digitals in that form because that's usually how they're going to market you and they'll know your style and how you like to be portrayed. But if you have natural hair, I would recommend taking your pictures of your natural hair. And sometimes you can even do both because it just shows them that you're versatile and you can, you know, switch back and forth whenever you need. Now let's talk outfits. As you saw earlier, I was going between two different shirts for this. When it comes to outfits, you want to make sure you're wearing something that's fitting and will show off your body in the right way. I love wearing black pants because I feel like they're slimming, they're fashionable, and they're not distracting. For the top, you want to make sure that it's not too low, it's not too distracting. And I like to stick with like neutral colors like black, grays, sometimes brown, and white. White is a great color for digitals because it stands out. My only advice when wearing white clothes is to make sure they're super clean, just because it looks better on camera, you know? Honestly, I would just say just go buy a shirt and just keep it as a digital shirt and it's just way easier. Some agencies also ask for bikini pictures. My advice to you would be to just invest in a very good black bikini. You want to make sure your bikini is black, fits well, and it's flattering. We all have that one bikini we wear and we're like, like, ooh, I don't know about this. And we have another one that just makes you feel like you're that, you know? 
I like to keep a stack of clothes for digitals. I have a pile where I'm like, okay, these are my options for digitals, and I have my good bikini that I invested in for digitals, as well as castings. Once you get signed and you're going to modeling castings, it's always good to keep a bikini in your bag, just in case they want to see you in some swim, especially when it's swim season. When it comes to posing, you want to keep it, you guessed it, simple. That's the key word with this whole thing. Digitals are meant to be simple. I think our biggest mistake when we're trying to get signed is to try to show them how amazing and cool we are, so we overdo it. But simplicity is key, especially in the modeling industry. And when I say keep it simple, I don't mean don't have fun. Definitely have fun and bring your confidence. Like, you're gorgeous, you got this. So just go and show your poses and have fun with it. I like to do a few rounds of standing poses, the standards that I talked about earlier, and then end with like a smile and do a few goofy ones to show personality. Because Target, honey, Gap, there's all these clients that you need to smile and show personalities. So I like to show agencies when I'm submitting that I have range and that I can look good smiling and I can look good with a straight face on. Now when it comes to submitting, it's very, and I repeat, very important for you to double check the size and the quality before you submit. It would suck to do all this work and not get your photo seen because they couldn't open it. So make sure to just double check and also label your files. It's just so much more professional and it will be easier for them to find your photos later on. Now that you have all this information, what are you waiting for? Go out there, take these amazing pictures and submit. Wait, one last thing. I want you to remember that agencies go through so many submissions a day. Don't be hard on yourself. Sometimes it takes weeks, even months to hear back from agencies. It's just how the industry goes. So make sure to be patient. In the meantime, reach out to photographers on Instagram and on social media, test, build your book, practice, watch videos on how to pose, learn as much as you can about the industry. So when they do reach out to you, you're even better than you were when you submitted. Or let's say you don't hear back. You've already done the work, so this second time around of you submitting, you have a plethora amount of work to submit. There's only one you, so embrace the things that make you different. If you have a gap, if you have freckles, anything that's different about you, maximize off of it. Especially right now, we celebrate individuality, so showcase the things about yourself that makes you different. Trust me, you got this. It took me two years to get signed. I heard so many no's, but I didn't give up. I just made sure the next time you saw me, I was even better. Okay. So you got this. No worries. You got this. You got this. You watched this video. You watched the other video. You, you got it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a quick video, but I just wanted to hop on here real fast and just give you some tips. I know in the last video I mentioned the importance of digitals, so I really wanted to make a video just to show you guys the proper way of doing it because sometimes it's as simple as that. And if you have any questions, please make sure to comment below. I'll be reading and replying and answering all of your questions. If this video was helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you know anyone who might need this information, feel free to share. Pass along the knowledge. This is what we're here for. Thank you guys so much again. It's your girl, Mariama. And until next time.